Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know, I don't even know why I clapped. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Uh, I have today for you guys my top 20 palettes of 2020 eyeshadow palettes. Uh, you guys know I love makeup and probably my favorite makeup item has to be eyeshadow palettes. Um, I just love them. I continue to buy them. And I did this video last year where I did my top 19 palettes of 2019. And it was just so perfect and fitting this year to do top 20 of 2020. So that's what I have for you guys today. Now, I have been a bit MIA. I did get sick. Um, I got COVID. And I'm starting to get better and feel better. I'm trying to, you know, get back into the swing of things and just, you know, just trying to be here again and, and do my thing and, you know, have videos for you guys. I had so much planned and then I got sick and my girlfriend got sick and it, it was just, it's just been, you know, it's been 2020. So, <laughs> um, nonetheless, I'm excited to be back and to have this video for you guys. This is what I'm going to start off with. Uh, I did ask you guys over on Instagram and you guys, uh, I did like a poll. You guys still wanted to see these videos i have an empties coming up and i also have my december boxy charm i'm going to include like a quick clip in uh, my january unboxing i'm just waiting for my premium box and then i'll show you guys all that in that video but today what's important is my top 20 eyeshadow palettes of 2020 and I decided to split it and do 10 high-end and 10 drugstore. I thought that was the most fitting because I do have a lot of favorites that are uh, drugstore and you know high-end. So just keep in mind that the palettes that I will show you guys not all of them necessarily came out in 2020. It's my favorites that I use the most that, you know, when I thought of this list, I thought of these palettes right away that were my favorites that I still remember or that I still even use, even if they were my favorites in January 2020. Um, so thought I'd mention that. And also I did get uh, a few of the palettes that are on my list are from my BoxyCharm, which I actually love that I got to try out out some of these palettes through BoxyCharm that I did. So without any further ado, let's get into the palettes. We're going to start off with drugstore because I'm pretty sure you guys are most excited for the drugstore ones. And the moment I started thinking of this list, the first palette that came to mind for the drugstore was the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. I feel like I have talked about and I have recommended and I have shown and I have used this palette so so much that it was like the first palette that came to mind so definitely definitely nudes of new york it's a palette that honestly i still recommend it's an amazing palette mine looks disgusting because that's how much i've used it but this is like the perfect everyday palette it's affordable you can get it at the drugstore it's just everything <laughs> and i Love this palette. Number two, and the order is not necessarily like the order of my favorites. That one was just like, it had to be number one. But now I'm just, you know, going off my list. We have uh, Elf palette, and this is uh, the collab they did with Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. This palette was one of my absolute favorite palettes as well. I mean, obviously I'm gonna mention that a lot, but this is one of the i feel like the only rainbow palettes i have in this whole like list this was the rainbow palette of 2020 in my opinion it was the most amazing palette this one is not available anymore and i kind of didn't want to do that but honestly these are palettes that i actually used in 2020 so i'm still going to mention them i will let you know if they're available or not but this one is just absolute perfection it's a palette that i'm going to continue to use this year when i want to do rainbow looks because it's just a perfect palette it has absolutely everything that i want and i even use these two rows like as everyday colors because those are the type of colors that i like to use yellows orange you know the, that's my vibe number three i was missing a palette for this list and i was like which one like i started looking through my palettes and i was like you know what there's a makeup revolution palette that i used look at how disgusting it is non-stop and that was the collab with soph and this is the uh extra spice palette 
This palette is beautiful. I I love how I said it. beautiful. It reminds me of someone on TikTok I watch. Anyways, um, this right here was my vibe. The orange, the reds, the yellows. Like I feel like that's my vibe in any palette, any color scheme. That's just the color scheme I love. But this palette was so beautiful. I really like went in ham on those colors looking at it in person i can see the dent i've done in this one and this nude shade they're just so pretty this was probably the first makeup revolution palette that i tried that i really really liked and i used over and over again so that has to be number three moving on to number four i have these little elf palettes now these are probably the most affordable of the list and guys three dollars for these palettes. I know sometimes there's like affordable products that you're like, yeah, it's affordable, but it doesn't really work good. No, these actually are affordable and they work amazing. I need to stop clapping. <laughs> I love these. I fell in love with these. They're the e.l.f. Bite, Bite Size Eyeshadows. It's like a little quad. I still consider these palettes. I don't know if you guys consider them palettes but I do they have more than three shades it's a little palette for me girl um and I especially like that you can get different color stories whatever your vibe is whatever you're into so they have something like very neutral like this or you can pair them together they have a green one that I still haven't been able to find in store um but they have this one it has like more transition shades and a pop of blue which the blue is beautiful we have something more cool tone if that's you know what you're into I still picked it up even though I don't like cool tones but it's nice to have something to step you know out of the little comfort zone of my my neutral warm shades my hair is like acting up getting crazy so yeah this one they're all beautiful they're all good these definitely had to make it on the list because they were so so good and they have like a new collection some mint ones i actually want both of those because they're really pretty. Next we have, I was going to do ColourPop, but the remaining from this list is ColourPop. Now ColourPop, you can find it on Ulta, which for me, it kind of gives the, you know, drugstore vibes because they have the, or at least where I go, they have ColourPop with all the drugstore area. And they also have Morphe in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this Morphe palette, which is the only Morphe palette I have in my list. And this is the Volume 2 in collab with Jaclyn Hill. This is probably my favorite Jaclyn Hill palette. I do have the Volt. I also have her first one that she did uh, that's this style. And then her very, very first one she did with Morphe. I don't know if you guys remember. She did like a favorites and did a palette like that too. She chose her favorite eyeshadows. She curated, curated it. Um, I have that one too. This one by far has to be my favorite. It's just the color story. Like this is me in a palette. This is all I want in a palette. Of course, there are other shades that I would like, but this is my staple, my everyday staple. This is it. I can use this palette and have it be, you know, my everyday palette forever because it's just the colors, the vibes that I like. Berry shades, burgundy shades are my jam. I love it. And then add that yellow and that gold, the oranges. Oh, this palette is just it had to be in this list for me because it's just, it was that palette. Last of the drugstore is all ColourPop. I have plenty of ColourPop palettes. They are one of my favorite brands of eyeshadow palettes. Um, I just love their palettes. There's a lot of collections I picked up. There's a lot that I just skipped because there's just so much. But these are the ones that kind of stood out this 2020. So I'm going to start off, obviously, with the monochromatic palettes. I feel like I have to mention these every year. This year, I bought a few more. I will look for tutorials of the palettes that I mentioned, and I will link them down below. I know for sure I did, like, a three look with this palette, like, a really pretty yellow, a burgundy, and then a hot pink and, like, purple. So I will link those videos down below in case you guys want to check them out if you want to see tutorials for some of these palettes. I didn't do them for all, but I do have a few. Now, back to this monochromatic palettes from ColourPop. They're my 
probably my absolute favorite product from ColourPop. I just love doing the whole monochromatic vibe for a palette when it comes out. I've done yellow. Uh, I did a few more. I did these like um, pastel shades that they came out with this year. So I will link this video down below so you guys can check it out. But yeah, definitely if you're looking for pastel colors, this collection was really pretty. I have a few, well, you guys can see back here, all those are monochromatic palettes from ColourPop, but I have some other ones that stand out, like Going Coconuts. I use it a lot. It's a very neutral, it's not too warm and it's not too cool, monochromatic palette, which I love. Baby Got Peach is another of my favorites. Meant to Be is gorgeous. So this is just one number <laughs> um, because I have four more. So this definitely has to be number six. Um, and I would say it's the monochromatic palettes, any of them, any, whichever one. Moving on to number seven, I would have to say that if you're in the market for a palette that has a lot of neutral shades, cool and warm, this is absolutely perfect, bare necessities. Now this one, I know they categorize it more as a warm tone because then they came out with a really cool tone one but to me it still has the vibes of both like you guys can see these are like more cool tone shades up here and these right here uh so it's I, I would say for me it's the best of both worlds especially if you love warm tones here and there now what I love personally are these shades right here the matte ones that have the glitter those are my absolute favorite from ColourPop I know a lot of people don't like those and you know, to each their own. I really, really enjoy those type of eyeshadows. This one called Spree is my absolute favorite. It's like a mauve shade with a lot of glitter, like gold glitter reflects in it. And you can actually see it when you apply it in your crease. I know some people say, oh, you can't even see it. It just flakes off. For me, it doesn't. It sticks to my eyes and it looks beautiful when the uh, light hits it. Next, we have number... What is this, number seven? <laughs> no, number eight. We have number eight. This has to be one of my favorite ones. And I regret not doing a video for you guys. I'm so sorry. The collab they did with Hocus Pocus. Uh, this palette was just absolutely everything. I didn't get to film a look with it, but I love this palette. Like I used it off camera, obviously. The colors are just so gorgeous. Like this... It looks like a grungy, like, mustard yellow. And then this green right here. Oh, these berry shades are perfection. The glitters and the shimmers in here. This black shade, I don't really use a lot of black shades. But this one I use a lot because it has, like, those gold reflex. It's gold, silver, purple, and green in it. Oh, a smoky eye with that is just beautiful. So this one, it's one that I was like, yes, I right away I remembered it it's one that stood out a lot and the packaging just everything about this collection was just so beautiful and so well done in my opinion number actually this is number eight right no number nine this one I'm still going to do a video because I I'm so sad that I didn't get to do the video um it is sold out already but this is so beautiful the collab they did with Raw Beauty Christie <sighs> This palette just, it's everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, it's the same shades. Yes, I know. And it, it's what I like. It's what, am I try, what I am, you know, what I gravitate towards a lot. But this one is just beautiful. Like the colors, yellow, orange, you have a pinky tone, you have a transition shade, and then you have these deeper shades. <clears throat> I love these so much. The palette, the whole collection. They did in collab with Robbie to Christie was everything for me and I'm still doing that video because I just it it needs a video um, um, and lastly number 10 for the drugstore side we have this one which is wild or nothing which this one came out ages ago I think this one's still available though but it was different for me but I used it more as an everyday palette, like a very simple color in the crease and this super shock shadow in the lid or in the inner corner and I was good to go. I loved it for that. The colors are just more muted and toned down and I like that about this palette because it's not like everything else I have. But I probably have all these shadows in other palettes, which is totally fine. 
this one definitely ended up being a favorite as well and now let's move on to the high-end side so i'm going to start off with that palette that i had the same experience for the drugstore i had it for my high-end side the moment i thought of this list i thought about the Too Faced natural nude palette born this way this one is just so pretty. The reason I bought this one was because I thought the nudes of New York was a good dupe for it and I was gonna do a whole video. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily it's a dupe, but it is a really good alternative. Like it has the colors that will give the same vibes and if you saw them side by side, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's like a drugstore palette. But not all the colors are the same. This one has a little bit more shades and some of these are pinkier. Some of these are more warm, but on the orange side. But still, it gives the vibe, the same, same vibe and it's way more affordable, but for me, I was obsessed and fell in love with this palette. I hadn't purchased a Too Faced palette in maybe 10 years. And then I got this one and I was like head over heels. I love the formula of this. I don't know if it's specifically this palette because all their other like holiday collection palettes, they never get like really good reviews. So when I bought this one, I was a bit iffy but I ended up falling in love with the formula and it's just so creamy and buttery that I'm obsessed. So this one has to be number one for our high-end list. Now the next palettes I'm going to go through are palettes that I got to try and that I got through my BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna start off with the Violet Voss Essential Palette. This one was so cute and one of my favorites. I did use it, um, I, feel, I feel like a few months because I was just so in love with the transition shades. And I feel like that's that does it for me in a palette. If it has really good transition shade, I will use it over and over and over again just for the transition shades. But this one was really, really pretty. It's kind of like a well-rounded palette. It has like a deep red shade, but it also has like a black. Then we have nude and we have some pinky shades. And then we have some green and like gold metallic. So this was a pretty well, well done palette in my opinion. And this is the Essential Palettes from Violet Voss. And that has to be number two. Number three, I'm going to be honest. This is a palette that I judged the brand and the palettes before I tried the formula and then when I tried it I was like yeah girl eat your words <laughs> type of deal uh, and it's a Dominique Cosmetics brand not so much that I judged them like oh you know I don't like her or whatever it was more that her palettes just didn't catch my attention and then when we got this one in boxycharm which was made specifically for boxycharm it's a smaller version uh than her other like she has a bigger one with these kind of colors oh, i fell in love the pigmentation and the matte shades and how creamy and buttery they are one of my favorite formulas by far and then this shade fireball it's those shades that you put on and they have like a shift or a duochrome when they're on your eyes beautiful i love this palette and definitely now it's on my list to get another of her palettes because i love her formula so so much it's really really good formula and i was very very impressed now this palette from tarte i wanted it since way back in the day when it came out just never purchased it because i thought it was pricey um and then good thing i did not because i ended up getting it in one of my boxy charms and I really like the formula, but I will say it's only this palette that I like the formula because we received two other palettes in BoxyCharm. I think they were round and I hated the formula of those. I actually gave them a shot and I tried them. I just did not like them. The formula from those round palettes to this palette, totally, totally different. Now, um... I'm obsessed with this palette and I was like, oh, this is one that I'll probably give to my mom or get rid of. No, girl, I used it and it's one of those that is easy to become an everyday because it has those perfect transition shades, warm shades, burgundy shades, and then we have these really cool metallics on the sides. These are actually really, really pretty and I love to use them sometimes in the inner corner for a pop. So this one i was very surprised with the formula and how good it worked and the last one from 
like the boxy charm, <laughs> uh, has to be the Natasha Denona Peak palette. This one, guys, it's kind of like the same thing that I judged her palettes because they're too pricey. But I will say, I still can't justify spending over $100 for a palette, even over $80. I bought one of her bigger palettes, but it's the $65, $68 one. And that's my limit. That's where I cut it off at spending uh, like the price for eyeshadow palettes because it's just it's too much in my opinion. Yes, the formula is amazing. Yes, they're so buttery, smooth, and creamy. But I just can't bring myself to spend over 80 bucks for her eyeshadows. Like, that's what I feel like they're good enough at. Like, 80 bucks. That's the max that I feel like I'll pay. And, you know, it's a little extra. But the formula is amazing. This one, I think I talked about it for like two, three months. How much I loved it. I love her formula but not for a hundred dollars. I just have to throw that out there. Next we have Huda Beauty and Huda Beauty it also has one of my favorite formulas. I know a lot of people it's like a hit or miss with her palettes but I personally really love them. The first one I want to talk about is the more affordable one per se. These palettes that have the acrylic packaging are now $29 so this one is part of that. This is a nude rich palette from her mini obsessions palette. So I don't know if you guys can tell back here those the black packaging up to the purple one. Those are her first uh, mini obsessions palettes. They came in cardboard packaging and then she upgraded to this. That's why I feared these are now $29. Those used to be $27. It's essentially the same thing. It's a little nine eyeshadow palette. And I really like this one. I actually like the color of this one and the medium. I think they had a light one as well, but I picked this one up. Um, it does resemble a lot, you know, her newer palette, but I still really like the formula of these. And I continue to buy these just because I love her formula. It's one of my favorites. So moving on to this other one from Huda Beauty. This one has to be on the list because it's a palette that I continue to use. I think this one came out 2019 and it's a palette that I have continued to use. And it's a palette that I still use to this day because it's just, it's probably my favorite Huda Beauty palette. And this is a new nudes. And this is what this one looks like. And <clears throat> this one, I just, I love that they included the pressed glitters. I know a lot of people don't like those. I personally love them. And I just, I've used this one nonstop as an everyday palette because it just has those perfect shades for me. I love very like mauve shades. And this is just like a mauve <laughs> palette. So this one's definitely... It had to be in this and list. Lastly, from Huda Beauty, her Naughty Nude palette that she came out with. This one, like her other palette, they, I feel like her palettes are always full of controversies and everyone's like, oh my gosh, a new Huda Beauty palette. Well, this one, it was this funky little eyeshadow right here. But honestly, for me, I just ignore that eyeshadow and I use the rest of the palette. And I've gone ham. And I mean ham. You guys can tell on these eyeshadows because I really, really like it. And just like the new nudes had that cream concealer shade at the bottom, I just ignore that shade and I just ignore this one. It's just one shade. Yes, they could have probably put something out, but I feel like that's how she gets like the attention for her palettes. Like it has something unique that everyone's like, oh, let me try it out. Let me buy it and see what the deal is with this weird, funky, whatever gel cream thing this is. So, you know, I just ignore it. I'm used to it. I Some people probably don't like that. I really don't care. I'm not going to make a big fuss about it. The other shades are incredible, in my opinion, and I love them. So I could definitely overlook that. But this one had to be on the list as well because I love it. It's one that I still continue to use and I will probably continue to use this year as well. Now the last two down to the nitty gritty, we have Artist Couture. So I placed an order because I wanted this Caliente palette, but I also saw this one and I saw the rave and it was, I just, I couldn't pass it up. So the Caliente palette is, it is small. It's nice and, and small, which I like because the colors are more bright and bold. So I prefer to have something small like this and like super big pans, which is really, really cute. Now these eyeshadows are super pigmented and they pack a punch 
which I love. The packaging is everything in this palette. In my opinion, I love it. And it's just that perfect palette that, you know, summer comes around and you're like, I want to do a few looks with that palette. This is it for me, the Caliente palette. It's just, it has those, you know, berry shades that I love. The yellow, the gold, the orange. This is just perfection for me. Love it. And lastly, we have Supreme Nudes. Uh, the only thing is this one gets really dirty with fingerprints, but Supreme Nudes, guys. Oh my gosh, this is such a yummy palette, and I, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. So this is, it's not your typical neutral palette, but it's also not like super, super like different. I do love that it's more on the like brown, bronzy vibes than just like gold. And I love that they added that olive shade. It's so pretty on the lid with like this color in the crease. Perfection. Like this just gives you such a bronze goodness. I love it. I love it. This is a beautiful palette. This is also a beautiful like palette to gift in my opinion. I don't know. It just seems like anyone can you really get use of the colors and it's just it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> so gorgeous. And I'm glad I got to try out both of these palettes because I really fell in love with this formula. So I'm excited to see what he will come out with this year. I hope it's more palettes like this. They're so cute and I just love them. And that was basically our 20th palette favorite for <laughs> this list. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 20 palettes of 2020. I'm already, you know, excited to see the palettes that will be getting this year i'm excited to buy new makeup i haven't purchased makeup in a while so i'm excited to see what's out on the market now i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there's any palettes you tried out that i recommended or what was your favorite drugstore or favorite high-end palette in the comments down below i'm very excited to be back and doing my thing thank you so much for all your support we have made it to 4,800 subscribers which we're so close to 5k and i I am just very grateful for you guys um, who comment, who have subscribed, all the new people on here. Welcome to your girl's channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And yeah, Happy New Year. I know it's a little, a little late, but Happy New Year. I hope you guys are all doing well. And yeah, that's basically it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.